Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon making with another tutorial. And if you don't like the video, we're gonna have a lot of issues. So make sure you hit that like button if the video help you out. And let's just straight into it. Alright, so in today's video, I'm gonna be making a photo peel thumbnail. And basically, let's just straight into it, man. You know the deal. So what you wanna do is go to Twitter and you wanna go to your bookmarks and get a screenshot. Now you can just ignore that right there. But basically, what we're gonna be doing is just making a live thumbnail photo peel. So I'm gonna find my screenshot and I'm gonna be back with y'all. Alright, so say for example, I want this screenshot in my play right here. What you wanna do is just right click, copy the image, and you just wanna go over to photo peel, go to file, new. And make sure you pick this right here. Now, I'm going to do 1280 by 720. And you just want to click it like this. Now, your DPI, you can set the 300. I really don't know what DPI do, you feel me? But just set the 300, you feel like. After you did all that, just make a layer come in here and hit Control V. And your screenshot should come in. Now, you can just click the edge, like, over here. And hold Shift to make it bigger or smaller. And I don't know what photo up you're talking about, but... Just do this to get the correct size and I'll be back with y'all. All right, so after you do this, um, what you can do is just hit control and plus them to zoom in. And you can hold control and move your mouse like down and up to go across. So yeah, just do all that. And now I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard to start cutting out and hit P. And you can basically just start going around, cutting out. And when that happen, just make this layer not visible. And you just want to cut out, like just make it not visible and cut out. So I'm gonna be back with y'all when I cut it out. Obviously, I'm gonna speed it up. I right, but look forward though, because I'm gonna have a cut out tutorial for um, photo peel. So yeah, let's get it. Right, so once you get done cutting out just come down here and connect the dots after that right click make selection and just hit ok and then what you can do is just come down here you can either let me count this hit this i mean this right here to get the background or you can do control j it's really gonna have the same effect i'm trying just gonna do control j to keep it simple for y'all but yeah just do that after you do this go to brightness and contrast right here and you can right click and um do a clipping mask up the brightness and that's usually what I do of the brightness and then go down here to blending options. And what you want to do is just enter shadow, you do the distance. Make sure you have this on 90 right here. And then up the size on it like so. And that might pop up a lot throughout the video. So just feel me. Just try to know it. But yeah, do that. Then you want to do linear dodge. And yeah, just come down like this. And yeah, just have it like that. Next thing you want to do is add a little drop shadow. Put the distance down on this. That's what the sides. And you can do normal. And yeah, just do something like that. And it's pretty much all you got to do for right there. And then just hit OK, and I'm going to show y'all what to do next. So next, I'm probably going to go over here. Oh, the brightness just a little bit more. So, and just have it like that. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Twitter, go to bookmarks, and I'm gonna look for some background images. You're filming. So I'm gonna just get the background image, right click, copy the image, and go to Photo Peel, and just go back here, hit Control V. And what this is gonna do, this is basically gonna just bring the background back here. So we just wanna kinda bring it maybe right here. And after you do that, what we're gonna do to the background, we're gonna go on here, minus some contrast, and we're just gonna order brightness on the background also. So we'll just have something like that. And then you want to make a new layer above this put about right there hit be on your keyboard and we're going to switch the color to white and make the brush bigger without bracket and you just want to click i'm tripping <laughs> for a few you have a crazy brush so you just want to put it like boom and we just clicking with it and i'm gonna find out how to take that off before the video over. i might not i don't really need to be making promises but yeah just click on the side with those two and you can make it however big however small but yeah, just keep it like that. Next thing you want to do is make a layer behind this. And you want to tap with that also. So just kind of tap with that until you feel like you did good. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to be back with y'all. All right, so next thing you want to do is go over here 
pick hue and saturation you want to turn the lightness down and just have it somewhat like that then boom and then after you do that you can just click on this now i, I really don't know how to do it that good on here but i'm pretty sure you just click on that hit b on keyboard go to the color black and you just want to shade like shade a certain part out to where it got light in so and kind of shade this part out and i'm gonna make it real dark so you can see what i mean so let's see how it stay light over here and it get dark over there so you can do a little bit of that really after what you can do is go over here up here i mean and what you can do go to vibrance and you go up to vibrance and the saturation so, yeah. all right so yeah just go up here of the vibrance and saturation a little bit probably have it like that next thing i'm gonna do go to file open and i'm open up this essential pack now i know some people be asked for this but it is free so if you really need it you made it this far send me up i can send it to you because this pack is free it's a layer style pack so i'm gonna open this up get a layer style i want and show y'all how to put it on so one thing about photo peel i do not have fun to the all bro and i really don't know how to get them so you would just hit control c on this come over here hit control v and go across and you see oh my goodness it's already messed up but we'll be straight so i'm gonna put print so <laughs> now i ain't trying to make fun of nobody on photo p and then i'm gonna go down here well, i can't even click the layer like that hit control c on this come over here, control v put print so is live so we'll do that click on this make this a little bit smaller i mean bigger tripping and what you probably gonna have to do is go up here and go to view and let's just hope that y'all figure out how to fix the fun man let's really just hope but i'm gonna go up here and put like snap guys and stuff like that on layers so you can look a little better but yeah put this about right here hold control on both of them just make sure you center. I'm gonna be back with y'all when I center it. So I'm gonna just go across this, go over here to TT, probably make this um, metallic or something. Then he'll control on both of them. Control J, he control E. And then just come over here, hold shift and make it a little bit smaller. And probably like put it about right here. Put the text about right there. After you get the text, one little file open. And I'm just open the generic 2K 22 logo. Probably. I got so many like one of them I already got the thing the logo on there but yeah just open this up hit control C come over here hit control V click on this whole shift while you make it a little bit smaller and I really don't like to use this one that much but if you want to use it you can just use this so use that make it a little bit bigger and just try to center it better than what I'm doing and after you do that you can hold control on all of them and merge them and I got my little keyboard so to try to pay attention but I'm pretty sure a lot of merge you just hold control then click them and hit control e after so yeah you just want to do that so now click on this and right click and warp now i never really understood how to warp that good on here from my understanding i really don't know how to warp but if you want to try to learn just go up here and try to warp it the warp i would use is arc but like i said i i don't know how to warp on photo p so yeah but yeah, that's the warp I would use. But if you can't warp, just go over here. Right click, blend options, add a little drop shadow. Now what you could do is you can add like, uh, actually like a big drop shadow like this or something. Or either add like the one that's the same color as that. And you can do like a 3D text effect on something. But if you don't wanna do all that, just mess with the size. Make it come down a little bit. Make sure it's black. And you can have just something regular like that. And next time I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna add a little live symbol. So yeah, I'm gonna go get the assets and open that up and add it. Alright, so I got the add in this live PSD and peep game, bro. You can open this on photo P or now you can actually open the PSD on photo P. But I'm gonna hit control C, come over here, hit control V to um get the live symbol. And I could put it over here. Does it look that good over there? Up to you. Go back and look at this. I mean, yeah, we had it on opposite sides. So I would say just put it over here. So I put this above everything. Make sure the vibrance, everything looking right. Probably go back here, add a little bit more brightness to it. Make it shine or whatever. Make it look good. Then go back here again. Add some vibrance to it also. Make the background look a little bit better. So yeah. Probably just go up here, 
make another um layer brandy some contrast and just a little contrast this time so you can have something like that next thing we we'll do is go to file open and i'm gonna get the animated line so i'm just get these hit control c come over here hit control v go to screen probably bring it down by right here click on this yeah i always shift to make it bigger so i just have something like that and after that i'm gonna just go from the top layer hold shift and click on the bottom one and then group it hit control j come over here hit control e then after the merge hit control j again go to filter and blur and then wait, you just want to wait till that pops up and i'm gonna show you what blur to pick i sort of uh just go to filter blur blur and i don't know why my blur is it working, but I'm gonna try this one more time. Maybe I gotta right click for the smart object and filter blur. And yeah, that's probably what I gotta do. Cause photo peel, man. I tell you, man, photo peel does be tripping sometimes. But if you really gotta do this, just keep going to filter and blur until you get it blurred a lot. So I said about right there, then you can go to lighter color. So you can like that little lighter color of cool effect and you just want to put it on like 18 or something then you want to make a new layer up here or b and just hold alt and then click a color then paste it so alt click a color and then um click with a brush so alt click color click with a brush alt click 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 with a brush so just do that around the whole thing and after you just want to go to screen and you just lower the opacity with it and once you're done what you can do is just go over here file export export as then you just want to file export export as png and save it and it's automatically going to export after that you want to save as psd and i'm just say this as print so photo here psd and i'm gonna put the psd in the description for sure i've been doing that on my last videos a lot so take my word but if you want like yeah that's pretty much how you do it and if you enjoy the video um being cowboy dragon feel me let's get it man you know what it is oh that might about to fall you know what it is and more dragon pizza